given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I got tarot 2222, and it's 4 4 4 a.m. in the morning, Gemini, and it's your turn. Your turn for me to read your energies, people, and let God use me to bring some messages for you. Let's get to your reading, family. Gemini, let's get to your reading. A quick 10 minutes, my G's. 15 tops. Just going to read your quick energies at 444, tapping in, and then I'm going to bounce over there and hop in my bed, my G's. Cuddle up to my grandson. So I got to keep it down, even though you lot get me all excited, man. So yeah, cards have already been pre-shuffled. The bottom of the deck, Gemini, you are protected. Message from your ancestors, you lot are protected. You lot are being saved and carried under God's wings. Your ancestors are traveling with you through this transformational period, through this rebirth. Some of you are pregnant and they're making sure that everything goes smoothly. There's a message to expect the unexpected, my Gs. I see messages coming in from your ancestors. From someone passed over somebody maternal a grandmother maybe a mother a great grandmother coming in to visit you so expect the unexpected people they want you to know that they've been with you been with you this whole time through your storms through the rain through the sun been there for some of you you lost them when you were young they never left they want you to know that they've been protecting you from unseen dangers. I see success and growth coming to Gemini's life in love. Somebody wants to marry you. I see stable energy. Someone thinking about you. Someone wanting to grow old with you. No gender in tarot. This could be a woman or a man. Crushing on you. Loving on you. Thinking about you. So that unexpected could be a proposal, my Gs. It could be a proposal from your soulmate coming in. So I hear proposals going to be popping up on the table for somebody. I also hear that it's time for some of you lot to detach from unhealthy habits, unhealthy people, an unhealthy way of thinking, negative mindsets. Some of you need to let go of your ex. They're not good for you. I understand you love them and I know it's going to hurt to let them go. But it's time to release and let them fly. Let them go, my Gs. Time to work on your spirituality. Open that third eye. Use your discernment. Stop going round and round in the same karmic cycles and wondering why you end up in the same place. You have the key. You are the key and you have the answers to your situation. Some of you ignore the signs. Ignore your gut. You choose the wrong partners. Some of you are stuck in karmic cycles of abuse. Choosing partners. Setting yourself up to fail. I hear self-sabotage. A lot of you are scared of commitment. It's time to heal. Time to reveal those things that are hidden in your subconscious and reveal them, as Kirk Franklin would say. Time to heal those things so you can, time to reveal those things so you can heal them. Healing begins for you in your love life. I see your heart being healed after a period of heartbreak. Somebody broke your heart, abandoned you. For some of you abandoned you and your children, your child, left you alone, down and out. You hit rock bottom. Some of you picked up drinking, picked up drugs, picked up something that was unhealthy for you. But now they want you to pick yourself up. The healing begins. It's 
time to find balance, my Gs. Balance is what they want for you. Messages from your ancestors. It's time to start creating a whole new future and letting go of the past. You have the skill set. Your blockages are over. I see balance coming back into your life. They want you to take the lead, take control. Come up out of your head. Start believing in yourself the way you believe in others. Accept this offer that's on the table. An offer from spirit themselves. Divinely guided, my Jesus. Opening up and speaking your truth. Letting your healing begin. By revealing what needs to be healed, my G. And once you do, look what happens with your last card. God comes in. Spirit comes in and heals your situa situation. And blocks those blockages in your chakras. And love begins for you. Love begins. Because at the bottom of the deck, there's nothing like it. You start to love yourself again. Start to see beauty in your situation, even as dark as it may seem. But I see self-love. Self-love. You believe in that you're worth it. Standing in your truth. Loving yourself again. Not being ashamed. Letting go of the guilt. And the pain. Let's get your tarot, Gemini. Let's get your tarot. Not gonna pull much cards other than these lot. I think the message has gone through. Just a time for healing. I believe a lot of you are doing it, but keep on. In the bottom of the deck, you're still reminiscing over the past, over what happened to you. Whether it was abuse in a childhood, or that ex that broke your heart. But it's time for you to release and let go. Because you spend too much time thinking about thinking about it. Look at that. You spend so much time in your head. You're wasting your life. Well, that person, those people are living those their life, right? I see new beginnings. I see engagements. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. For some of you, you're going to be recognized and rewarded. Being put on stage, speaking your truth, some type of motivational speaker, maybe even a singer or a poet. But you're going to be standing in your truth and educating people about child abuse, traumas in your childhood and how you overcame it. I see you changing the narrative on your childhood, looking back at it with fond memories now, Gemini. Because I know your heart was broken back then. Broken in two, three, a million places. And that's what you're thinking about right there. Stagnated you. Stuck. Stuck at that period of time. Not being able to trust fully. Not being able to let go fully. But this card wants you to let go, to trust the universe. Because I told you, your spirit team has been working. God's working in your life. Repairing your heart takes time. The heart is delicate, people. But I see a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpio thinking about you too. King of Cups wants children with you, boo boos. Ships are coming in. This person might not live close to you. The bottom of the deck, I see an offer coming in on the table an offer of marriage or stability. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. This offer will last divine from your ancestors. So this is the end of the read, people. I'm just going to pull some angel messages for you quickly because my battery keeps cutting off. So that's my cue to go to my bed. The message is done because my, my thing is not full, but it's telling me the storage is full. Let's get the romance cards and bottom of the deck. It's safe for you to love. Open up your heart, Gemini. To give and receive the highest energy of all. 
So I see marriage is coming in for you and blood clot. There you go. Soulmate. Yes, it is a soulmate, Gemini, coming in for you. Let's go quickly before the battery's cut off again. Well, not battery, for it's a storage full. Because it's flashing, my Gs. Athena, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Bottom of the deck is Carissa. You are at the end of a cycle, Gemini, in your life. Call upon your angels and spirit guides to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now, my Gs. Let me get the heart deck, please, spirit. Let's do it. I know you're on my side because we need to get the word out. Someone's trying to block it. But the word is this. Your intuition, Gemini, constantly senses the voice of spirit and conveys this through emotion and feeling. Spirit's great love and wisdom continuously flows through you like a stream of soft diamond light. Stop for a moment and feel this beautiful flow of energy. Allow it to permeate every part of you. You and spirit are one, intertwined by invisible threads of love. Feel your ancestors, feel the love. But it's blinking, your girl's gonna be out. I love you. It's your girl, Di Virgo Tarot, 2222. Two, two. Send love. and light, my G. We're gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you got